Waltersbury. Can you say good morning? Do you want to say good morning like we do at work? You know this. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> oh, thank you. Good morning, Portersbury's. So it Happy is, morning. well, it's kind of actually day three of the Easter wreath, but um, you guys joined us um, on day two, really. Uh, so we did our second coat of paint yesterday. So they have all been beautifully painted on the outside and the inside. And we're now just tidying them up for our wreath, aren't we? So we're having to, see, we've got this little bit here. So we're just going to cut that off. And Evie has been choosing the pom-poms to go in the middle. Do you want to show them your, some of your favourites? Oh, yes. Look at that one. That's a beaut. Look at the size of that pom-pom in there. And we've gone green and purple. Oh, how we've got Spider-Man joining us now. Uh, this one, we've got a little a yellow sparkly pom-pom in there. So... They are just sticking, aren't they? The glue hasn't quite dried in all of them. But it's now time to assemble them on the actual on the actual reef. So are you ready for that, Evie? Are you gonna stick your first one down? Yes. Okay, choose a choose a choose a flower. I'm gonna choose the big one. The big one, okay. Well done. Very delicate. Nicely done. Mummy probably should have put something on the table first, hey? Mm -hmm. um, I'm ready for the big one. Which, which, ah! Okay, this one's going on. Oh, here comes the creative director. <laughs> okay, so there's our first flower. Which one's next? Okay. This one's dry. Ah, is that one finished? We didn't paint the outside of that one. What do you think? It'll be okay. It'll be okay. You're happy for that. Oh, you're going to have a go with the scissors, are you? Okay. Really good for practicing cutting skills, this, isn't it? Cause it's very tough. It's a very different texture for cutting. I have to do this at school. Do you? Do you do cutting at school? Yeah. Hmm. It's almost like we're doing a bit of homeschooling. Oh, I can't do it. Keep going, keep going. What do we do when we get stuck with something? We just keep trying. That's it. Way! Mrs. I can't do it. You did it. We'll be outside in a minute. Sorry, just in case you didn't hear that, that was Freddie asking to go outside. That's not me shouting at you guys to go outside in a minute. Okay, a bit of glue uh, on the bottom. Oh gosh, the pom -pom Oh gosh. Oh gosh, I went on my Oh gosh. Stick that one on. Lovely. Pop the pom pom back in. And I think when the glue dries, it's quite um gloopy glue. It's clear glue rather than like the normal white PVA glue because we were using it to make slime. So I think it's almost not as sticky. Uh, okay, so we're going to carry on with this. We're going to um, stick our flowers all the way around and we will be sure to show you um, the finished article later. But we would really love to see um, what you guys have made. So um, have a go, dig out some egg boxes and then you can use any kind of paint. I think you could probably use um, felt tips because I know there's not much paint out there. Um, so felt tips or like glue and tissue paper, sort of like a paper mache collage effect would work really well on those. Um, or you might even have something that looks like flowers. You could cut out some flowers on card paper um, and stick that around the edge. Oh, here we go. Evie is going to add some detail with felt tip. So that's what you could do. And then, yeah, in the middle, I think pom-poms work really nicely, but I think sequins, glitter, buttons, all those sort of things would work really well. And as we said, it really is a whole family project. So we'd love to see some photos of, um, of you families getting involved and making one of these. Um, and we look forward to seeing some of your finished products. We'll be sure to show you ours. So good luck, everyone. I'm going to say bye-bye. Bye-bye.